to this episode of how to paint your hood. First thing we're going to want to do, strip all the old paint off. In areas like this where it's large and flat, there's not a lot of curves, it's very soft. You can get a very bare cam effect. First you want to chemically strip those areas, then you're going to want to take it to get it sandblasted or more appropriately, walnut blasted in these areas, and then in your stronger areas, your braces, places where there's multiple bends and contours to build strength, you can sandblast. But in these areas, hoods, roofs, doors, you generally want to be as gentle as possible with these. Okay, now you have your bare metal, you're going to have to put the primer on. Normal, regular primer like this, this is what I like to use, it's a PCL poly primer. It's a good price, it sands good, it doesn't plug up your sandpaper. But, it won't naturally adhere to bare metal. So what you're going to need to get is acid etch primer or epoxy primer. And since I'm only doing a small hood, buying a hundred, two hundred dollars worth of epoxy primer, a little out of line on this one. So I've just got a small can of acid etch primer. We're going to coat it first. Then we'll put a thin coat of our filler primer on. Then we'll get on our body. Make sure you're wearing your mask. You don't want to be picking this stuff out of your nose all night. When primer, you always hit your nooks and crannies first. coat is just a nice light fall coat. You don't want to shoot it on fat and thick so it has a tendency to lift back off later. Give it 5-10-15 minutes to dry up depending if it's hot or cold, muggy outside or not. The colder the muggier, the longer the time, the hotter the less. Then after it's set, you shoot your seconds coat. Last time you used your paint gun, hopefully you took the time to clean it though. Well. If you did or didn't, put a little acid on it. And uh, make sure it's clean. And your gun settings, the top one right here is how much material is coming out how much primer you're shooting on to whatever you're shooting. Generally, you're going to turn this back two, three, four turns, depending on how fat you want to shoot it, how thick the material is. The thinner material will shoot faster and easier, and the thicker, slower and fatter. So we will turn this out. Good two, three turns. This right here is how wide of a pattern. When you bring it all the way back, it'll shoot a narrow string. When you put it forward, it'll shoot a wide string. Normally, the wider the better. This is your catalyst. You have to be very careful with this. If it gets in your eye, it's going to blind you. You're going to want to pour the proper amount in, or however much you're mixing up. This one bottle goes for this one can. I've only used about a third of it, so I'm going to use about a third of this. Now this primer is a very thick primer. So I like to use a little acetone to thin it out. It makes it easier to shoot. You don't get as much orange peel or large high and low spots. 
Mix it up good. and slow aiming towards the bottom so you don't waste any of the primer. After you pour it in, put a little more acetone in the cup. Swirl it around so you can clean the gun, clean the cup and use it in the future if it's necessary. Again, I'm going to be doing a nice light coat. I'm going to start with my nooks and crannies to be sure they're all covered because once you hit that large mass of metal, your nooks and crannies get lost. There's your nice light coat, let it set up for a bit, start on your set. When you primer, you basically want to pretend like you're painting. You don't want any fat runs, you have to sand out, and it's good practice when you are going to be painting. So start at the bottom, and then work your way up. You want to shoot one line, and then just keep coming up, overlapping, each is about 50%. Okay, so you got your nice light coat down. A uh, little bit of primer left, hit some of the areas that uh, look like they need more tension. Whenever you're done using your primer gun or your paint gun, you always want to make sure you clean it right then and there. I know you're going to be tired, you're not going to want to do it, but if you clean it now, it's going to be a lot easier to clean it later. I like to put some uh, acid etch. Put a little acetone in the cup, pour it into your gun, shake it around a little bit. Well, there you go. We got our hood all set with its initial primer. It's protected against the rust. Keep it inside anyway. Tomorrow, we'll start showing you how to do body work. See you then.